Now that we have the most sought after solo lanes all done with, we move on to the most blamed position in fucking history, the jungler. The list for the top 5 total dick junglers is an interesting one. There is no level of poke involved or a way to assert lame dominance as, well, you're rolling around in a forest killing giant frogs and a giant blue rock. On the flip side though, you have the ability to make a certain enemy lane a living hell or just starve the enemy jungler farm for the entire game. So this list will simply be what champion makes you break the most electronic equipment in your room. Do keep in mind that this is my top 5. There will always be different opinions, but based on my experience, these are the ones I chose. So let's begin. I have two honorable mentions this time around. Those mentions are Nunu and Sejuani. Nunu, because when you are hit with an ice ball, there is no way you're getting away without at least burning a flash, and the fact that there is absolutely no possible way you're going to outswine a Nunu player with a some semblance of a brain cell. And Sejuani, because Riot realized you enjoy the ability to move freely and not be slowed or stunned, so they made a champion to stop you from fucking doing any of that. Okay, let's move on to the top five. Number five. The champion Riot made to promote strong female characters but ended up being the hottest champ to most people and has some of the creepiest DeviantArt attention. Now I think Vi is one of Riot's biggest successes for a champion. Vi has never been a poor pick, she has seen very few nerfs or buffs, and she tends to fit in with almost every team comp minus say a poke comp. Vi is that champion that can dish out a major beating and take one too. With her W, she will always be a factor on the damage side of things, whether getting a quick burst on a squishy or slowly denting down a tank. Plus, she has natural tankiness with her stats and passive. And I personally believe that Vi is one of the best engaged moves ever in League of Legends. That move that, especially when caught out, you see that little orange tether on you and then you realize you done fucked up. Vi is a very fun champion, it can really sway the tide of a game, but she isn't on here because she's good. She's on here because she's annoying. She has excellent ganks with a flash Q, and if she truly wants to lock you down, that Q into ultimate is all she will need to promise you a black and white scream. We all had the moment when the tanky as hell Vi 1v1s you as the AD carry late game, and she just straight murders your face with just like one damage item and you're almost full build. Vi is a big meanie, and will punch you in the face like nobody has punched you before, which is why she is number 5. Number 4. Blue Chick who doesn't seem to realize heals were a poor choice in a battle arena. I'll be honest, I suck as Eve. I am so bad at this champion, it took me way too many games of playing Eve to get some semi-decent footage. But I digress. Now, Evelyn doesn't have a whole lot going for her. She has decent damage, decent mobility, a good AoE slow and consistent damage. She has very little CC, burst, or tankiness to speak of. But who gives a shit when you can be invisible 90% of the time? And that's just it, isn't it? The simple fact that Eve can be anywhere, anytime, sneaking up behind you, running through lane, in your jungle, taking an objective, and yet you will never know until she is already in your face. Warding is completely useless unless you have a pink ward, in that case she'll just go to that said pink ward and kill it. Then come back when you have no pink ward. And if you get that pink ward trigger, well that's cool, but then you gotta wait till level 9 for that shit. Eve jungle is annoying just for the simple steps it takes to deal with her, or even be safe against her. Which is why she's number 4. Number 3, Flagman. Remember those days when Jarvan was the most played jungler and the most meta champ? Remember those days when people didn't realize it so nobody banned him? Remember when people played Jarvan? I do, and I cry every time I think about it. If I ran this list strictly off the number of times Jarvan made me rage, he would be number 1. I hate this guy. I never feel like there's anything I can do against him. He does tons of damage, he's tanky as hell, his knockup feels like it lasts an eternity, he turns your armor into Swiss cheese, and if all that somehow fails, he just demasias onto your dick and traps you with his little Jarvan helping arena until 20 minutes. I dislike Jarvan with such a passion. Honestly, I don't know why people don't still play him, he is still pretty strong from what I saw. Maybe I just put the entire the enemy team on tilt because that's what Jarvan does to me. Jarvan is a tanky, powerful, ridiculously annoying jungler, which is why he is number 3.
Number two, the Yi Zone. Okay, 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 hear me out for a second, all right? Now I started making this guy before Say Devourer came out, and Master Yi was still actually on the list, but are at around number five. I put Master Yi at number two for a reason that doesn't apply to most other champions. He is annoying to both the enemy team and your team. I have not found a single Master Yi player ever that was a nice guy. They are always flaming, muting everybody in the game, AFK jungle farming, or AFK because the game is going downhill before they get a chance to upgrade their jungle item. We have all had somebody auto-lock Master Yi and literally just say nothing until they get into the game and type AFK jungle until 15 minutes, muting everybody. It's rage inducing. But he moved to the number two spot on my list because of the new Devourer. It really, really hurts. Yi already being a very strong mid to late game damage carry before the item and now it helps boost his mid game even more. He will completely cut you down in seconds without any remorse over and over again. Now he has the problem all AD hyper carries have which is complete lockdown will ruin his day. But a good Yi player, if there even is such a thing, can use his Q to try and avoid all that. He can just death push you the entire game, split push down towers, and secure objectives without contestment and he is a pain in the ass making him number two. The focus lies in and finally, the big baddie, the terror of the jungle. The number one spot is Keith Ledger. Fuck this champion. I hate him so much. I can't do anything against this goddamn clown. He is always there just when you don't want him to be. He is always in your jungle taking your buffs. He is always ganking you right as you're about to get a kill. He is always taking dragon behind your back. He is everywhere. I can never jungle safely with an enemy Shaco. I can never push with an enemy Shaco. I can never leave a lane open for fear of a split pushing enemy Shaco. But you know what's the worst part? No one just gives us the icing on the cake. You know what makes me dislike Shaco so much? Is that I have to respect a good Shaco player. Because mechanically, this is not a very hard champion to play at all. I mean, he is no Master Yi, but it doesn't take long to get him down. What I hate is that good Shaco is all mind games. He has all rotations, split pushing, death pushes, jungler invades, counter ganks. He has all game knowledge and knowing his enemy. We have all had that moment we are mid, Shaco ganks us, and then we die. Then we go back mid, and he never left, and he ganks us again, and then we die. And you get so mad when he kills you again, that way you just don't feel like playing. Plus, the amount of bullshit you can do with this clone is ludicrous. Shaco is the personification of how to be a total douchebag, which is why he earns his spot as number one on the list. So there you are, ladies and gents, the top 5 total dick junglers. If you think a jungler deserved a spot on this list, go ahead and comment with a reason why, and don't forget to check out the top 5 total dick top and mid laners. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Toodles.